Now I'm going to show you how you can quickly build up the model um, in little components that for the most part will be uh, pretty usable um, <clears throat> by just simply adding new connectors at um, different locations. So let's look at transformers and uh, we're going to configure that also as pipeline connectors. Um, <clears throat> we're going to choose from our 3D model utilities that Rick uh, was kind enough to give us, the transformer cam. Assuming that, you know, most of these are uh, overhead, you'd want to check that obviously, but we're just doing this as for the sake of the exercise. Um, we're going to do everything in feet, of course. Alright, we're going to say that it's about a foot uh, in X and Y and about two feet high, standard, you know, more or less approximate can size. And then we're going to assume that the elevation offset is about 25, uh, 22 feet off the ground. And that's a bit too high, but we're, we can lower that. Um, so we'll say 19. And you know, it's not perfect, but it's pretty close. And you can see that if you had your rotations right and everything, uh, you know, more or less correct. But it is giving you at least an idea of, um, you know, how the cans are organized. And you can see them up there. And uh, we're just building that up piece by piece. You can do the same thing with lights, fuses, and so on to start to get a very realistic model of uh, the utility that you've got. You can see some of the cans there now. Um, so that's a very useful feature of building it up component by component.